Yeah, we're not indifferent to the pound. We, we target inflation. That's the Bank the of England's governor appearing rather indifferent himself, though, as he appeared at an economic conference in Birmingham. Earlier, he'd warned what many in Britain already knew, that a financial squeeze is on its way as the falling pound sends inflation upwards. The question now, how far will it go? The head of Northern Foods earlier on this week, so he sees food price inflation at maybe 5% next year. Now that's going to hit households, particularly those with on lower incomes. Um, at the same time you're going to have um, squeeze prices on, on fuel. Um, I mean, oil even in dollars is, is on a right, seems to be on a rising trend at the moment. That's going to cut into real disposable income. Carney admits it's going to get difficult for some, but his comments gave the pound a little relief after falling nearly 16% against the US dollar since June's Brexit vote. Carney says he's willing to allow inflation to run a bit higher than the central bank's 2% target in order to prevent job losses. Well, we're not going to have some magic number for it, but it does factor into our thinking, um, and it does factor into our thinking as we're striking that right balance in a period of adjustment, and this economy is undergoing, it's just started, a period of major adjustment and, and what we all want is to make this as successful as possible. But the Bank of England may have backed itself into a corner. It previously signalled it's likely to cut interest rates below their already historic low of 0.25% in order to help the economy cope with the shock of the Brexit vote. Since then the pound slumped further and the bank's rate setters know they can't curb inflation by raising interest rates without risking a hit to economic growth.